Do you think you have what it takes to be the next overseer? Join us in playing Fallout the board game and let's see if you have it in you to make your default dwellers happy. Fallout has been a franchise that's been going on for a while. Bethesda first released their games on PC and now they're available on a couple of different devices, including your mobile phone. Fallout Shelter has been the mobile version of the Fallout franchise uh, and you're still playing in a vault and you're still gonna go out uh, on, and explore some dungeons and uh, old locations. You're still gonna get into fights with mole rats um, and it's just a lot of fun. And now this mobile version finally has a board game version as well. Um, if you ever played the mobile version, it's quite similar. You have the main locations, the main rooms that you can see in the vault in the mobile version as well. Uh, you have the elevators connecting the different layers of the vault to each other. You have some loot that you can get, uh, for instance, duct tape, and there are weapons in the game as well. I'm gonna show you just a few. Um, and of course you can also get some pets. Aim of the game. The overseer of our vault has died tragically. And now it's up to us, the vault dwellers, to uh, compete against each other and see who gets to uh, make our vault dwellers most happy. Uh, you do that by building more rooms um, to um, either uh, improve your vault dwellers or gain more stuff um, and by of course defeating threats and the threats can be anything from fire power outage as you're uh, sure to have noticed in the mobile game that happens quite a lot and also of course enemies like raiders and of course death claws as well um, once you complete these various tasks you get happiness for your vault dwellers and uh, at the end of the game, the player who has the most happiness is going to be the next overseer. Um, the game comes in a lunchbox, uh, of course, another iconic item of the game. And once you open it, you get the booklet, uh, which is also um, based on around the events of the overseer that has died. Um, it explains to us how we're gonna play this game. It's quite uh, nice to follow. It's uh, very well written with a good overview of the game. Um, every player gets its own player card. Um, there are three different locations on the player card. One for energy, one for uh, food and one for water. Of course, the main things that you need in the game. Um, you can signify how much of these resources you have by placing green cubes um, in the track. Um, essentially, this is a worker placement game. So you have uh, a, a minimum of two workers that you start the game with and a maximum of six workers that you, uh, that you can use to gain resources and complete various tasks. Um, these workers are actually shaped in the bubble heads that you can find in the game and they're shaped in the special bubble heads. Uh, for the, you, those of you who know the game, you can get um, abilities uh, and improve your abilities during the game. Uh, those are um, also available in this game. So you start with two, uh, you can get more Vault Dwellers, maximum of six. And then you take turns placing your workers on the various locations, gain your resources, defeat the enemies, and then it's the next round. The game ends when a player either builds six locations on their own level of the vault and, or when all the enemies of the game have been defeated. And then, as I said before, whoever gains the most happiness for their vault dwellers wins the game. Um, I think it's a really cool game to play. Um, especially if you have played the mobile version because it's really, really similar. Uh, and if you haven't played the mobile version or if you haven't played Fallout at all, it's still a very fun mo uh, worker placement game. Follow us for more inspiration about board games or any other geeky and nerdy blog articles you can find on our website. See you later.